Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do exactly what we did in the previous video, but instead of the cosine or the hyperbolic cosine square of x, it's a hyperbolic sine square of x. So we're going to show that this is indeed equal to the hyperbolic cosine of 2x minus 1, all divided by 2. Again, we're going to work on the right side to make it look like the left side because that's easier to do. So we're going to rewrite the hyperbolic cosine of 2x. So this becomes equal to the hyperbolic cosine square of x plus the hyperbolic sine square of x. And we have minus 1 divided by 2. Now we're going to rewrite the 1. We're going to write this as the hyperbolic cosine square of x plus the hyperbolic sine square of x minus, and 1 can now be written as the hyperbolic cosine square of x minus the hyperbolic sine square of x, and the whole thing divided by 2 still. Now you can see that the hyperbolic cosine square of x will cancel out because the negative sign, and this negative will turn this into a positive, so this becomes equal to twice the hyperbolic sine square of x divided by 2, and then of course when we cancel out the 2's, we get the hyperbolic sine square of x, which is what we have on the left side right here, which means that the left side does indeed equal the right side, and that's how we do that.